Hey guys, welcome to spoiler number three. Point two. Force Master Academy. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to be doing this cool equipment spell. Uh, it's called Jeweled Scarab. And uh, Jeweled Scarab is, uh, geez, it's... Well, Subtype heavy. The first the first thing <laughs> is it's trained by the, the Academy Force Master because uh, even though it's a Holy One, it is a, uh, it a, is a desert, -het desert -het spell. spell. And um, so on top of that, it's also healing. It's also mana. So you can actually combo with a bunch of other mages and a bunch of other abilities already. Um, but let's just focus on Academy really quick. So you have dissipate creatures that have Aegis. There's an incentive not to attack these creatures. One, you're reduced die by a dramatic amount. Two, those creatures are just going to go away. So why would you want to attack them? And they have pretty decent life because they have no armor. Um, Jules Scarab kind of cements the idea that you don't want them to be attacked. So in a sense, summoning those, you know, eight cost creatures that deal four dice, you're suddenly paying eight mana for like four attacks of four dice each or something like that. It's, and then if Jules Scarab allows that to be like cemented in, um, you can also recoup some of the costs for when the Dissipate eventually does kill them. Exactly, so it's suddenly that much better. And, uh, you know, the Force Master stack card that you saw in Spoiler 2, it costs mana to get that melee 2. Maybe you remove a Dissipate, and this helps you get that mana back. Right, you yep. pay a mana, remove a Dissipate, creature dies, but then you get your mana back. So it's just the cost of There's Dissipate. There's a bunch of cool yeah. stuff so with this card. There's a free melee plus 2, effectively. And, you know, amulets are not exactly common, so... You know, you may not be taking an amulet right now, and this could be a perfect choice. Absolutely. Yep. Speaking of Desert Jet, yeah. what do we got? We have the big baddie. The guy's name is Juicet, the Risen King. He is an undead mummy. Now, because he's also a Desert Jet subtype, the Force Master is trained. Well, the Academy Force Master is trained in this particular spell, despite it being a dark level 3. Uh, as you can see, I mean, 10 health and 2 armor along with another 5-die attack, is pretty much something to be really happy with normally. However, he does have a special condition. When he's summoned, he comes in with a guard marker on him, uh, but he cannot be reset as long as he has a guard marker. Oh, man. So you can't you can't choose a new action for him as long as he's guarding. He's guarding forever if they don't deal with him. Yeah. They just ignore All him. All those big creatures tend to have some sort of downside. Um, starting out with the guard marker... Actually, really isn't that bad. No, it's not that bad. You know, uh, it's a lot easier to be useful in academy. Yes, because arena, right. you can just kind of walk around into a different zone. But that's but for a five dice counterattack, I'm pretty sure a lot of creatures are going to be like, I don't know if I want to attack this. Yeah, you know, I just don't want to hit anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that keeps your mage safe. Right, it's a right. very good, very good buffer for the mage. Yeah, and um, speaking of combos, putting some redistributed power on this guy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. pretty awesome. Nice attack on this guy. Very cool, oh, man. <laughs> Seven dice in a cannon. That is ridiculously that is, good. That's really nice. Yeah. So keeping our theme of non mind spells for this spoiler, the next one is galvanize. Yes. That's, oh my gosh. It's a pretty nice card. This card, Despite I love this wood. card. It's that holy needs to be this good, man. <laughs> um, not only Clearly, does is this a yeah. healing spell. And will trigger all of your Disciples of Radiance, or allow Cassiel to cast it if you're playing in Arena. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, yeah. Um, you can remove conditions as an additional cost to reveal the, or as the cost to reveal this. You, you pay to remove the condition, and then you get your melee plus one. And if that just happened to be a stagger on one of your guys, yep. then you all of a sudden get an action that you weren't supposed to get. Plus a melee, plus one for the rest of that creature's life. And it targets a corporeal creature, so you could even do this for your yep. mage. Yep, and it's not non—it's not living either, so you could do it on non-living creatures. That's if you true. have a burning zombie brute in a oh, man. suddenly galvanize it. So maybe it is maybe, worth the three maybe points. Maybe it's still expensive. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it is worth three I points. I mean, it's, it's zombie brute's pretty powerful, and this it is a pretty cool spell if they're burning him. Uh, I mean, that being said, also, you know, if they're uh, if you got asps... Which is very common in Academy. Oh, uh, yeah, it's very good for buddy. You book. versus a Beastmaster, you're probably going to get a weak token. You know? You put it on your mage. Yeah. Get a yeah. melee plus one on your mage. You flip it. Because everybody's going to try and stagger and weak and... Mm-hmm. What else? Mess with it. Mess with you. Burn you. Yeah. So this is a really cool card. Yeah. Use it. It's fun. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>